Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here. We're back with another video. No background music, no intro. Today, we are reacting to some of the skins that I've missed out um, and for the upcoming release of the new patch, patch 5.1. Is this 5.1? Um, so yeah, we're in 5.1 and there's a lot of skins that I've missed that we should get talking about. So we're going to do the new ones first, the original ones first, Wild Dwarf ones, and then we'll revert back to, we'll go back to the ones that are already released on PC. So let's start with Cottontail Vex over here. I don't have my ad blocker on, unfortunately, but you know what? That's how it is. Okay, so it it's a basic skin. This is a basic skin. My question is, is this skin gonna cost 525 or 725? Looking at the VFX right now, I don't think much change. I think the shadow or shadow color changed in terms of wasn't it this always blue um but i won't be surprised if this is going to be another login skin event um 525 seems very you know accurate to be honest um yeah i mean it looks like she's tortured judging from the outfit i mean it's very standard i like that the zipper is a big ass carrot um, I don't think it needed to be that big, but I guess for emphasis wise, it's there. There's also some pins on the side of her head, which you can see as well here. The detail is really nice. You can even see the carrot. So yeah, I guess that's very aesthetic in a sense, but nothing much changed in the VFX as you can see. Again, except color of shadow, of course. Let's see. Nothing much changed. It looks like her standard VFX. Yep. Let's see, yep, it's the standard, you know, I haven't played League in a while, so I kind of forgot what the colorings are. But if I remember my shelf, um, I guess this is the very standard colors. I think they even upgraded some of the graphics because I don't remember seeing, like, when she has her passive, I don't remember seeing smoke on her ears. I just know you see her passive when she has her, you know, the three stacks near her health bar. That's pretty weird. Um, let's see the third skill. Nothing much changed. That's the second skill. It's pretty much the same. Again, I see this like a login skin, but I think the most worth it uh, login skins is the Galio one, I think. I think those are like 990 skins, right? The 990 Wild Quartz. It's, it's an epic skin. So I think that's the only skin I can remember from my memory that are valuable as a login skin. And I think they're starting to do more of these um, login skins. I think Nautilus was just one recently. If she was the next one, I won't be surprised because it's a really good value deal for just one-time payment. Um, and you get more rewards after that. So, you know, the reward is more incentive. But yeah, that was Miss Vex. Also, side note, my VTuber model preview is broken, so I have to use the raw footage of the VTuber here. As you can see, it's hovering. Because, because, you know, you can move it around. I can move it around. So, yeah. When I stream, again, I think I might not show my VTuber model because, you know, it's going to cover the screen. And the splash is really nice. Good lore with um with Ziggs over here, which I think was a Wild Freak exclusive skin as well. So, two for one. And then we have Birdie over there. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the next skin, which i seen a preview of before which is Food Spirits uh, Fizz. Now, I'm pretty happy with this uh, skin line. You know why? They updated the background. Girl, ever since the layoffs in Riot Games, I'm just happy that they did something, you know? Uh, look, now he looks more foodable with this um, checkout counter background. And you can see that this is very this is very painted on. It's not, it's not giving realism to me. Um, but it's just cute enough to fit that anime style. I feel like it's giving anime style with that. The outfit itself, it's very, um, what do you call this? Pokemon trainer to me. He looks like a Pokemon trainer. Um, same face model, which is not bad. Actually, I don't mind the face model being the same. I think they just took the same face of his and then just added in, you know, the rest. Um, the weapon being kind of what what fruit is that is that an orange or a tangerine like a melon like a, a tangerine or pomegranate but yeah it's a bit messy color wise but i think i'm content with it i'm glad that they made the pants black it's not too much 
and then the flippers his flipper slippers whatever it's matching a bit with the hair and you know the weapon and his color skin is fine yeah let's see this one that's a koi fish it's a little cutie oh there's a there's a hold up there's a watermelon version there's a watermelon version oh i love a watermelon i'm curious about the model of that the coloring um, I haven't gotten past it in a while, so, you know, this is something new for me. Okay. They won't catch me. Wait, not bad for the coloring. Is that more fruit? Ooh, we have the passive is oozing fruit. Me when I eat fruit. Okay, it is a pomegranate. It's giving pomegranate. Yeah, I don't eat fruits, you can tell. <laughs> I love my bananas and mangoes. Okay, the coloring is not bad in the rift. It's not a, a it's not a grass green Sumner's Rift grass, <laughs> uh, the skin. But I honestly thought I was gonna see more of the yellow on the face. But it looks like it's more emphasizing like a raw banana. You know, like when a banana's ripe and it's not ready to eat. Yeah. Let's see the third skill bounce. Very standard. It's very um Chroma Crush. <laughs> That's splat Chroma Crush splat over here. One more time. Okay, th that indicator is different as well. Not much. I honestly expected a pattern, but I don't think food spirits is a pattern. Okay, that's pretty, very tropical. It's not beach. It's very fruit. Oh, that's it. That looks like a little legend. This looks like um. Okay, my TFT fans. This looks like the shark, little legend from TFT. Isn't it? If you know, you know. That looks like the shark. Their eyes are just like an, into like um, into like the triangle thing. The greater than, less than, or yeah. I wonder if it's gonna change in the other skin. I don't remember. <laughs> we haven't played in a while. I don't remember if Chroma's in this replace in the battle pass, or maybe I'm just too um spoiled, you know, with the skins that they give. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this is something I can get along with. It's a bit heavy on the green, but I'm kind of forgiven that uh, at least the pants is the same. The jacket's a bit more blue. There's a bit more different colors opposite to the colors that we have here, the blue-green. There's more orange there and purple, which is kind of offsetting the the rest of the look. It doesn't look too much. I've seen skins that are too much, so I guess this is not bad, and I love a watermelon. It's more blue. It more, it's more neon hair, blue, green, yellow. Less yellow on the ends. Same face. Um, I don't mind it. It's not bad. Does the ultimate change? Oh, no, it doesn't. Missed opportunity, though. But I like the fruit. You know. Something different. Food spirits. I'm kind of tired of food I think the last skin I bought was the Echo skin. You know. Oh, look a little cute. Oh, he's a jelly. Oh, he's a hairy bow. The jelly bear. Okay, that's a nice theme. I can get along with that. I honestly thought he was like, um, like juice. Every uh, one was a sandwich, one was a soda. Now we got a jelly bean. Okay, boomer. Okay. Oh, I'm only eight minutes in. Wow, we are accurate on time over here. Okay, so we did this. This okay. We'll do Brom next. I don't remember seeing this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, now I didn't play enough rank. Did I play enough rank to get the rank skin this time? See, this is this shows that I haven't played a lot much. Maybe next season I'm getting ready. <laughs> um, also shout out to the people who been asking me to make wilder videos. I've never left, by the way. I just want to make other things, and you know, but the itch is coming back. So the bitch is coming back. So just wait, hold on for dear love, and uh, we'll get it right. Well, I said a lot of song references there. Uh, now this is a too fancy of a skin. What Brom skin do I have? Do I have a Brom skin? I don't know if I have a Brom skin from a chest. Wow, that's a lot of colors. Whoa. Ever since, um, pause. Ever since that Aurelian Soul skin, which I forgot I have. Do I have that Aurelian Soul skin? Ever since that Aurelian Soul... I didn't think I had that Aurelian Soul skin. <gasps> I don't remember. Ever since that Aurelian Soul skin, we've been getting a lot of chromas. I've been missing out on chromas. But this makes the skins more incentive. Honestly, pause. If they make more chromas for past rank skins as like glory points, you know, for the rank store, I don't mind spending it on that. Because I know a lot of people have thousands and thousands of rank points that they can spend it out. 
Okay, it's, it's okay. So the shape is like a trophy, right? Nope. <laughs> it looks like a a a, 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 a an armor, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh, that line is so out of context. I'm so sorry. That's very pretty. Nice. Oh look, there's some flowiness there. It's like a power flowing, you know the. You know, the generic, you know, <laughs> generic effects over here. Oh, that's nice. Very crystal vibes, obviously. It They've been getting better at these the more they make rank skins. You know, it doesn't feel as repetitive as the upcoming skins they might release in the future. Um, you know, the ultimate here is very Malphite. <laughs> VFX wise, I guess. The stun could is a little underwhelming when that hits, but I like the the four um, hits of it, like the the bar. See, I'm forgetting my league lingo. Can you imagine? Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's a pretty one. That's a little black and kind of gray blue type beat. I love that. It's not bad. I want. Imagine if Evelyn has um, a color from uh, relating to the theme. Very nice. Not much changes on the VFX, so we're good. There's some sparkles that I'm seeing around the character. Oh yeah. Okay, that's the splash chart. Oh, he looks really different. Because of his eyes. I'm not used to that. He kind of looks like a nutcracker with that beard. Okay, now let's talk about the ones... Uh, wait, we have Callista. Let's talk about Callista. Callista, Callista, Callista. And then we'll talk about the gel. Okay, let's talk about Callista. Miss Miss Mother release skin over here. So Nyla got Nyla. See, I said the name. I said Nyla, not Callista. So Nyla got the Nyla treatment. Um Callista got the Nyla treatment, of course. Now, this is a human skin. Uh Callista, honestly, we expected her lore skin, but you know, this is better. Okay. It's the coloring. It's very simple, which is shocking for me to say in a league skin, since I expect more extraness. You know, the colors of like a black and gold with some white bandages and her chestices, you know, it's actually good. I, like I said in every skin reaction, black and gold, purple, black, gold, anything dark with something gold is always a sell for me. And they didn't really overtune the skin too much, I like Gwen or Jin outfit wise or Samira. So in league standards, this is simple. <laughs> I'm just saying. I like that the coloring is, you know, the standard, like, the effects of, you know, the Soul Fighter, the spheres, I mean. You can really see the detail of her face. I think they referred to her, like, human skin in PC as just, like, a reference or, like, her storybook, the Runation book. Because, you know, this bitch has a lot of story. You know, she was the OG 1-1 before 1-1 was even a thing, you know, from Mobile Legends. Um... So yeah, and I also like there's like a special diamond there at the back of her to show to emphasize like the center of like her hit, her critical hit. Okay. Oh nice. Very bright. She has big hands. She has big hands. She has big hands. She has big hands. Her models always have big hands. Okay. Oh, they kept the, the echo effect. You know when that sphere hits and there's an echoey sound after? Oh, but it's a little different. Okay, how did they change these scavenger hunt bitches? There it is. Okay, that's so weird. It's a wisp. It's a ghost. But then the sound they make it like very arcadey. Huh? Cute though. It's cute. We can say that. The coloring of her spirits is very reminiscent to Gwen's aesthetic scissors, I think. I'm not really too hype with that second skill. What does the rend look like? It's a rend. Not much. It's very simple. That's a very simple ability. Ability. Oh. That's a big ass minion. E. That is so satisfying though. She kind of reminds me of a Vainglory character. Oh, is it? does it go away? Oh, it does. 
No, now we're forever bounded. Oh, that's cute. There's more effort on this VFX than the rest of the abilities. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's her logo. One, two, three. Oh, that's cute. Very thematic. Ooh. That's a big... Oh, wait, how slow was that knockup? Wait, let's see the VFX first. Oh, what is that? Looks like a penis. Um, I guess that was an arrow. That knockup, though. How long was that? One, two, three. Three second knockup? Was that three seconds? That was really slow. I thought it was lagging. Oh my gosh. Oh, that mark thing. That is so satisfying. That's called the fu that was like um that's like a rune now Th those types of um um for passive that when an e a support hits a mark they do more damage or something that's pretty old <laughs> I think that's like um what's that word um it's like an it's like a rune now in League and I love that her splash art is very reminiscent of the old the old the old group from last time. The OG ones, the art style looks the same, it's like they never left it. I feel like it was a concept art that was abandoned, you know. Okay, now let's react to the Samura one. And this is a, this is our second ultimate skin that's become a legendary skin in Wild Drift. Because, uh, because the OG was Seraphine, right? And if you ask, I own Seraphine and Samira on PC. So, just saying, if you think I'm a liar, I own it. Um, and I love that the two skins I have are the skins that are coming to Wild Drift. Ugh, she said marketing. Um, oh, not Godzilla. Oh, I have to mute these. I don't like... Am I gonna watch that? Ooh, pasta. Ooh, I'm full. Thank you. Okay. okay accuracy, accuracy. She better accuracy. So compared to... Callista, this is a messy skin coloring wise, but it fits her. You know, and they really went detail for detail to make it accurate with her legendary skin. I mean ultimate skin. Just to not miss any detail. You know? Um but out of all the ultimate skins, this is kind of meh. <laughs> but for legendary skin, girl, we're getting it for like half the price. So we better work. Also, when you buy the skin on on bundle, it has a 10% discount. So you better discount. She got the abs. She got the, she's giving Guilty Gear so bad guy because of the red with the white socks and the red outfit. That's kind of like his style too. I guess that's what they were inspiring from. The good evil guns are giving kind of like um full caliber with the good and evil swords as well. Okay. Wow, that's very detailed. I forgot how about how detailed that was. If I if I have Samira and Iram, I just play her just through the skin. Is she floating on something? Okay, she's floating on a sword. Because on PC, I honestly thought she was just on the ground, just getting her leg. Like, you know, like Doja Cat in the Agora Hills video. She's just, like, getting her legs in that scene. I, I didn't know she was standing on a sword. I didn't see that on PC. And I own the skin. So, you know. Yeah. I didn't see the sword. I mean, it makes sense now that I see the skin. Oh, she has an emo joke. I, the VFX girl, I don't know about the VFX. People still complain about the VFX to this day. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, that's the sword animation. Ooh, she said. Ooh. Okay, well, I see the skin already. We don't have to pause. <laughs> okay, that's smooth. Oh, they. Re oh, I know. I know what that. I know what the sword slash looks like on PC. It's. It's it's less detailed here because obviously, but it's very detailed in the sense of Wild Drift, obviously. Oh, that's so satisfying to do. There's a, I'm gonna say this. There's a lot of Samir players out right now when I came back to play Wild Drift, and they don't know what to do. They just do it because she's flashy. Mama, learn your alphabets. Z Y X O V U T S R Q P O N M L K J H T F E D C B A. Like you know how to count down. E D C B A S, literally. Let's see. E, e D C B A S. Oh, I love when she gets a pentacle. It's the same one on PC, but instead of the map turning into like snow or something or smoke, it just says the GG, which is honestly a big deal. That's not bad. Let's see. 
Yeah, you can see that effect here in this perimeter. They didn't really make a bigger uh, range of it, only just from a small percent, a uh, small viewpoint of that that smoky ground cloud effect. That 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 crit effect looks like a like a, a, a effect on a TV show or something like a like a like a YouTube intro. Okay, killer. I'm kind of mid on this skin as a concept. Maybe they were doing they want to do something, but they didn't achieve it. But the skin is here. Also, the splash art is very slowed down compared to what I had on the PC model. If you want, if you know want to know what I'm talking about, look at this. It's more faster. It's more faster, see? Compared to this. I guess different teams. See? Weird. Okay. Who do we have up next? We have... Well, we'll do Xin Zhao, actually. What changed? I don't think nothing changed. I think he became an evil person because it's... Again, pause. You see that pattern? You know it. Prestige! Okay. I... Uh, Chan EXC Kiana for Wildrif tweeted about this skin, and then I said, "Why did he become like heartthrob to like Kazuya Mishima from Tekken? Because if you want, if you see the old skin and this skin, they look so night and day. This is not Zinjao. This is Lubu. You know, um, the eyebrows are so thicker now. His eyebrows were thick, obviously last time, but he had like very like innocent eyes. This looks more like evil eyes. I feel like they lost the eye file or something. Um." He literally looks like Kazuya Mishima from Tekken. I'm not even kidding you. I'm kind of tired of prestige skins. There's only a few prestige skins that get it right because they tack on the logos on everything. If you want to make it prestige, make it fancy. It doesn't have to be sparkles or like an every time. I, I think an example is like the Hextech skins or like Crystal Moto skins. I call those prestige because they're like one of a kind, I guess. You know, they're unique. You know, I didn't get the Crystal Moto skin from Ash. Um, so I don't have that anymore, and it's going to be coming back after a long time, so it's pretty rare. Um, without, and I don't have the border for it. That's prestige to me. A prestige means something, it doesn't have to mean luxury, basically. Okay, now he has a running animation girl, as if it was necessary. Okay, I guess it was necessary. You better flip. He looks like a hard steel character. Okay. Look at them. Go, girl. How you like in the rain, girl? Okay. Okay, nothing much changed. I guess it's the same VFX as his skin. I like the logo, but too much, girl. Why you even make a logo for? Let's see that swipe. Hold up. Let's see a swipe. Oh, look at that swipe. Oh, look at that. Oh. The, the color in here is giving Kindred. If base Kindred was a prestige. Oh. I guess these are the same effects, right? They just re-edited the colorings and everything? Am I wrong? Or what? Ooh, that is so effective, though. Ugh. Love that. I love a third skill. Ooh. That's so fun. I love a swirl. Like, I love a Darius Q when it hits. Like, that's... Ooh, that's a bigger version. Again, the sparkles, whatever. We get you. We get you, girl. I don't think Prestige Seraphine, the one I have, the ocean one, isn't this crazy, right? I don't remember. Because I'm so used to the Louis Vuitton skin looking like Louis Vuitton that I see that they use this pattern a lot now. It's getting a little tiring. Am I? Am I? Is it just me? No. Okay, he died. Oh, I'm blowing my nose. Excuse me. Oh, it's so fancy. Look at that gold pop up. Oh, see this. See, I, I don't like prestige skins that much, but the slash hearts get me. Like heart seal cane. I mean, look at that. They're giving you want me, so you better buy me. And I'm like, no, thank you. I'll just get Space Groove Nami uh, prestige on PC. Which, by the way, it's here. You know, I think I came back to the PC League just to get this skin. You better, you better, you better. You better. You know, I'm trying to grind the past as I can. Anyway, we got sidetracked. Let's look at Jin and then we'll lastly look at Gwyneth Paltrow over here. Oh my gosh, can we not get ads every time? Dolce Gabbana. Okay. 
Do you guys remember? Have you? Did you guys play the PC event for um, Soul Fighter last year? Girl, it took up my time because I was so addicted to it. Samira couldn't catch a break. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Soul Fighter bet my money when the pro the Project L game comes out. This is like the release skins for sure, like the first big event because it's literally a fighting game. So they're gonna release the characters that are based on this skin line just to <laughs> fund the game. Like so smart. Hello, marketing. Okay. I don't get the weapon. What's the weapon? Like a syringe or something? What? Again, like Callista, the outfit's very simple, but the weapons are too much. And he really hates Samira, huh? Also, missed opportunity for Viego to not make this his release skin. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, I kind of miss Jin. I want to make Jin support a thing. <laughs> I miss my off meta era, you know. I'm a little rusty to be even talking to be even talking about a an off meta era. I'm not in that, you know, like that goal again. I'm not really that good. I feel like I lost my touch, but you know, never say never. Okay, the coloring is very bland on that VFX. I I guess it fits him, but which which color from his skin? From the skin, is it coming out like that? Oh, that's his logo. See, I don't mind a logo like that. Fizz never had one. He could have had like a fruit slice as a logo in his uh, fruit spirits. Like a, like a jelly bear or something, I don't know. The coloring engine is very meh, but it kind of works for him. Is that just me? See, look at that. Girl, give me a full view. He needs to move it, huh? Yep. What's these on the sides? I don't remember that. Maybe some design error? What is that? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Oh, that is satisfying. Very minute on that a bounce effect. Like I said, the, the effects are very simplified, but it makes sense, in a sense. Okay. Watch puppets dance. Oh, that's a crit. Oh, I love the crit. Oh, I love a burst of a gunshot. Oh, he's never mind. He's dead. Oops, please. Oh. Oh. Me on a banana. Okay. The splash art we know, obviously... <laughs> Eh, kind of, we, need, we could have had Evelyn here, but we didn't. Um, anyway, but I've seen set, or maybe that's false. I've seen set in the splash chart. So, for the preview, for the patch preview, now the one everyone wants, the money maker, because Crystal Rose is gone. I do own it though, so I don't need this skin yet. <laughs> there she is, little Miss Gwyneth Paltrow over here. I own this skin on PC. I don't own this skin on PC. Now, her coloring is a bit messy, but seeing it in her 3D model, it kind of doesn't look messy at all now. And her, her skin is very reminiscent to Pikes, which I think they're a duo. And um, kind of give me Callista vibes, but just like the brighter version. Yeah, I think the outfit's not bad. Um, she's giving Banette from Pokemon, you know. I think her outfit's simple, but the weapon is over the top to the, because it's so fighter. -der. Look at that. Oh, she's cutting. Okay, the skin is pretty. Let's see the chop. Chop it up, girl. Oh, nice. Not bad sound effects. You know, I... You can only change the tone of the audio a bit, you know? To make it different. You know what I'm saying? Like, me speaking right now, I can change that. <laughs> Look at that scissoring. Uh, oh. Oh, this is way less... Um, I mean, obviously, but... I'm so used to seeing the PC version of this. Uh, this is for the people who didn't get Crystal Rose, unlike yours truly, you know? This is this is the emo Crystal Rose. Oh, well, not bad. I love that third skill. Third, her third skill uh, auto attack sounds are so great. From the Legendary skin, from the Crystal Rose, from the Space Groove. 
Face Group is a little more bubbly, you know, bubble gum, you know. Bloop, bloop. Ooh, there's the sound. One more time, girl. Okay, ooh, we see some sparkles there. We see a little sparkle. Ooh, burped. There's some music on the first and third hit that I hear. The fifth one, I don't really hear it much. But for those who didn't really get any, like, for those who are waiting for a good skin on Gwen, because her best skins are limited, thank god I never, I never, I never, I never hesitated at not getting that. Um, also, I'm excited to come back to Wild Rift because we have a TFT patch with the, with the light uh, and dark items, so I'm really excited about that. There's Gwen scissoring away. away. And yeah, that was the reaction. Oh my gosh, we did so much. You know, this is just to catch up. You know, I'm pretty sure you're watching this in third. This is a 30 minute video. You're probably watching this till the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. You know, don't worry. I'm not gone from Wild Rift, obviously. There's also a lot of new MOBA games coming out. So uh, be sure to be uh, watching that. There's the Marvel Rivals third person shooter MOBA. And there's another uh, new game coming out tomorrow or today because it's April 9th. It's called Gigantic Rampage Edition. Now, this is a, a third-person shooter MOBA. Again, I'll probably make a video and give my first impressions. It's available on all platforms. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I'm just because I like MOBAs, duh. And on PC. It's not on mobile yet. Um, but yeah, let's, you know, if you're if you're in consoles and PC... You know, I might make a video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, like it, if you want to like, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the notification bell for never upload a new video. If you're new to my channel, as you can see, it's 2.41 a.m. work. Uh, I am a VTuber who just does content or whatever I feel like doing. You know, I haven't made a, anything in a while. It's, you, you, usually, I'm on it every day. But considering I'm making something else from a different game, the ideas are not ideaing. So, yes. <laughs> um join my discord link description below donate to my paypal if you want to support the channel in the long run uh i am not monetized yet so any type of donation would do you know i shouldn't really start streaming you know i've been saying i should stream when i haven't really done anything so i might stream thank you um i just don't know what's the perfect time because when i think i want to do it it doesn't happen and i'm doing something else you know what i'm saying uh follow me on twitch at dr curvy tv follow me on twitter at dr kirby underscore y t over here you know i'm gonna redo my twitter you know i'm i like making tekken videos but i'm not really giving tekken videos so you know we're gonna change it up a little bit we're gonna revert back to our old roots um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye